Well, how much do you know about Lake Superior and the Great Lakes? Well, one research vessel owned and operated by the University of Minnesota Duluth is dedicated to better exploring the Great Lakes region that we call home. Meteorologist Peter Kavakowskis shows us what they're studying in this week's Bridge Bound. Any given year, the aerial lift bridge can lift more than 4,000 times to allow anything from freighters, cruise ships, and personal boats to pass through. But one boat based out of Duluth and run by UMD is on a mission to shed some light on the massive Great Lakes. The Blue Heron, when built in 1985, was a fishing vessel in the Grand Banks of New Finland before the university purchased it in 1997. Since then, the boat has made countless journeys up and down the Great Lakes, all in the name of research. This year, a team from UMD is looking at algae blooms and the Great Lakes. The primary project that we're working on this year is looking at uh, harmful algal blooms, so uh, cyanobacteria, uh, just algae growth in the Great Lakes. Uh, the researcher is comparing uh, what's happening on Lake Superior, which is not that much, down to Lake Erie. Those researchers are just trying to get a better understanding of toxins and algae in the Great Lakes. Algae bloom research is far from the only work that the Blue Heron does. Wayne Lusardi, Michigan's maritime archaeologist, says the Blue Heron and other research vessels like her on the Great Lakes help to unearth hidden stuff deep below the surface, including shipwrecks, plane wrecks, and even long-lost civilizations. And then there are also pre-contact Native American sites that are both watercraft and uh, paleo landscapes when the lake levels were considerably lower than they are today. There are trees and forests underwater in all of the Great Lakes where people lived and hunted many thousands of years ago. While the research and the missions are different, both agree the Blue Heron and the ships like her out on the Great Lakes help to provide a better understanding of the massive bodies of water. Meeting here in Duluth, it's pretty awesome to, to get to know some of the folks that are actually doing the on-water operations. They're the people that are running the boats, that are running the fleets, that are uh, creating the technologies that I use as an archaeologist. But here we are in, in, the, in the middle of the continent, and the, the students have the opportunity to work with researchers doing world-class research. Another important mission for the Blue Heron is the annual deployment of UMD buoys on Lake Superior. That's going to happen this Wednesday. The buoys measure air temperature, water temperature, and wave height in and around the Twin Ports. That data is then used to help create the National Weather Service Duluth's marine forecast for Lake Superior.